Yay, Holly's fixed. What's up, people? So, I got Holly back. She, uh, she had to go to the shop. Um, so I'm headed back from the shop now. I, uh, I had that ticking sound going on. And I wanted to get a, the bike just general maintenance looked over. Um, because with buying the bike from, you know, uh, just a person on Craigslist, you never know, like, it would shape the bike's in. And I don't have the time or really the experience to give the bike a total look over. So I told them while they had it in the shop to go ahead and, you know, check it out replace all do all the fluid shit and just general look over so now she's running really good supposedly i'm just now riding her so i don't really can't confirm it but i'd like to think so um also the ticking problem was pretty much the the same problem that it was the last time one of the exhaust flanges just came off or not came off but it was just really loose or one of the nuts might actually have came off and it was causing it to vibrate so if you got an R6 and it's vibrate or it's uh, making a ticking sound, uh, look into the exhaust flanges. So it's a thing to check out. Uh, and now the bike is a uh, Holly is running great, very exciting. The next thing I got to do, oh, this is something I can ask you guys. The next thing I'm going to be looking into on the bike is painting the gas tank because right now, hold on. You can see the gas tank is orange and I've got black fairings so I've got to uh, I've got to get the gas tank painted and I wanted to do it at the shop but they don't do painting at the shop so I need somebody to paint the tank in Atlanta if you guys know anybody that does motorcycle tank painting in Atlanta or any good options I would love to hear hear them in the comments because I kind of don't know where to go uh, so if you guys could recommend anything in Atlanta, if you're in the area and you know some good places, I'd like it to be kind of cheaper if possible. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments where I can get this bad boy painted. And uh, I was thinking the other day about bikes and, you know, I've, I've bought a couple R6s and two of the three R6s that I've bought weren't the color I wanted. So what what's curious to me is how important is color to you like when you're buying a bike if it's not the color you want is that like a deal breaker or what because obviously it's not with me and it's it's a lot more of an expensive pain in the ass than than i ever consider and it's happened to me twice now and the same thing has happened both times i'm like oh i'll just get new fairings it won't be a big deal but it always turns into this huge ordeal of getting the bike the color i want so how high is that on y'all's like scale of hey is if is bike the color I want then good then yes if not then no. So obviously color is one of the things I like <laughs> that I don't even look for. But what are like your go-to mods? So like on my bikes, um, some of the things my my go-to mods are mods that you're like regardless of the bike you get you you want you always get that you end up getting that mod on the bike. One of the mods that I always have to have now, I have to have, uh oh, here's the red light. Um, one of my mods that I almost always have to have are shorty levers. Uh, I had them on one of the R6s, and I didn't buy it for it, but they just already had it on it. Ever since then, I, I can't ride with long levers. It, it's crazy. Uh, another mod I always put on the bike are the block-off plates, these bad boys up here. I don't really use mirrors in downtown Atlanta. Probably should, but I don't. And I like the way the bike looks without them. What else are things? Uh, <laughs> the, the, uh, what is it called? The, f oh, English. I can need words. Uh, getting rid of the Fender Eliminator. A Fender Eliminator kit is always like a must, must, must for a bike. Um, I think almost every bike comes with some ridiculous thing on the back. And I always have to take that crap off. Exhausts are always nice, but not required. Um, exhaust is something I... That's one of the big things I look for when I buy a bike. 
like what the exhaust does it have on it it's it's always is it the year and make i want and is it the an exhaust that i like it's not a big deal but um yeah i definitely look into exhaust over the color of the bike which i i'm hopefully holly will be my my final r6 and i'll just be able to keep her forever but if i'm ever in the position where i, I need to get another bike i'm definitely like color <laughs> the color of the bike i'm gonna make sure that's the color i fucking want i'm not doing this whole buy fairings get the tank painted and all this crap it's just it's a really big headache that i do not look forward to dealing with hids would be cool but i've never had them so i don't even fucking know the bike shifts a lot better now i don't know why or how but i'm okay with it Wow, the bike shifts really good now. <laughs> MSP cycles, I don't know what you did, but it feels great. It feels, it's really quick. So good job, MSP cycles in wherever they are. Decatur? <laughs> yeah, I think they're located in like Decatur, which is terrifying. The fact that I'm going to Decatur for the shop. Yeah, those are like my, my go-to mods, I guess. What else? Oh, shit! Race rails. That was, <laughs> ironically. Um, or not even, you know, not even race rails, but, like, just something to protect the side of the bike in case of, like, small problems. Like, if you are parking it in a parking lot and it tips over for some reason or the weight gets away from you. I always like to have race rails. I, I prefer race rails, but frame siders do the same thing, uh, generally speaking. So... That's a go-to thing. What else is on Super Sports that people like to get? I mean, I think that hits the top things is the levers, the, the fender eliminator, and the exhaust. And then, you know, the color stuff is, is now a big thing. Yeah, I don't know. Spools. Spools, all, um, the things that you... On your rear tire, it props it up on the pit bull stand. I always have to have spools so I can uh, do the chain. That's one thing I got on Holly when I first got her. I was <laughs> right after I bought her, I bought the chain and sprockets. I think that's about it for mods. Um, as far as like the ones I always want, you know, there's or always get. It's not even want. It's the ones I'm like, okay, I get a motorcycle. I'm not even gonna think about other little HID bullshit until I get these things on it. I'm not really big into power commanders. Uh, I feel like these bikes are stupidly fast as they are. They don't really, like power commanders, yay or nay, it doesn't really matter that much. So I know some people though are, are just like, oh, I got a motorcycle, what do I need? I need to make it faster. And I'm like, all right, I don't see the reason of making a car, a uh, vehicle that's faster than a freaking supercar faster <laughs> i don't know i don't know what scenario you would be in to want it to go faster but i mean to each their own right you guys that live in fucking arizona and texas they got long roads to go real fast on it i guess it's a thing you need i don't know but guys i'm uh i'm gonna call this video a dunzo me and holly are gonna enjoy our little ride home let me know in the comments where i can get my bike my tank painted only my tank i only need the tank painted and uh let me know what your go-to mods are the the mods that you are on your top priority list for uh motorcycles when you have them i'm gonna go play in all this stupid traffic because there's so much of it probably gonna go play some battlefield 4 beta and then after all that said and done i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> bye y'all bye guys I always say like the bye y'all like it's official and then I start saying stupid things because that's just the way the outro should go because my brain cuts off professionalism it's like okay you don't got to be professional anymore you say what you want